All right, Neil, thank you very much. The Adirondack Aquatic Center is a large scale, multi purpose complex of pools and other facilities to be built in Malta. It will take millions of dollars to bring the idea to life. That's the goal of a fundraising campaign kicking off next year. Here to discuss the proposal are Kara Harridan and Todd Garifano. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. All right, so this is exciting for Malta. How huh? Malta's already got plenty of stuff, but you guys are going to pile it on. Yes. You're going to pile it on. Yeah. Tell us about this. I mean, I think we have some renders we'll be taking a look at uh, for this, but tell us uh, who came up with the idea and why. Uh, we've been working on the project for about three and a half years. Pretty much a bunch of parents just sitting around pools, swim meets, different things, traveling a lot, saying, why not bring something like this to our area? So the, the idea was kind of hatched then, and we haven't stopped. Why not? We're not going to. <laughs> Well, you know, it's it's uh, the Aquatic Center was is envisioned to meet the growing needs of Capital Region residents um, by creating an aquatic facility that will offer something for everyone, all abilities, all ages, little babies right through to seniors and our elderly, learn to swim programs, uh, rehabilitation, competitive training, competition, wellness and therapy programs, and a place just to have a lot of fun and and to unplug because you can't be on your cell phones when you're underwater. <laughs> we'd, we'd the like, only place you can Yeah, be. exactly, right? <laughs> See, so we're on to something there, too. Um, we'd like to grow some aquatic programs and, and sports that aren't real big in our area, too, like water polo and synchronized swimming. So there's a lot of good stuff. It's, it's exciting, and it would really put the Northeast on the map as far as are, are in the aquatic community. Yeah, it'll so. attract some competition here, it'll yes. attract some, some events. Right? Yes. Uh, the fundraising effort. So this, how much is this going to take to build? Because we're looking at some renderings. It looks pretty decadent. We're about $22 million. $22 million. So is that going to be a tough thing to raise money for this? Tell us, tell us how you're going to raise this kind of money. Might not be the easiest thing, <laughs> but we're very determined. Um, it's going to be a mix of public and private uh, donations mm -hmm. and just really getting out there. Uh, major fundraising effort kicking off in 2018. We uh, received our first million dollar commitment a couple months ago, so that was a huge boost to the project. And we're just gonna keep on going. We're You're on your way to 22 million, I tell you what. Yeah. You got a million in, in the yeah. bank already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Almost two. Almost two. And grants out there, so yeah. it's all good. What's your role in this, Todd? So really the sports tourism market is what we're, we're interested in. So, you know, growing our, our market segment outside of racing season. So the sports tourism uh, market really tends to be recession proof. It's mm -hmm. year round, it's regional. It's not just about Saratoga in this case. Um, you look at our, uh, the regattas, the um, lacrosse tournaments, soccer tournaments, uh, things like that. Um, they really are year round and they, and they drive millions of dollars in economic impact. So we look at this, we look at the, uh, there's a facility I think in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, it's first year out generated over $40 million in economic impact. So the potential here is huge, not only for Saratoga, but for the entire region. Mm -hmm. and, all right, so what are you hoping uh, for? 2018, you kick off the campaign, but you're not stopping people from giving you money now, obviously. <laughs> oh, so, no, 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 no. <laughs> the constant fundraising effort, but the, the major effort will, uh, Kick off in 2018, which is only a couple months away. So, all right. so, so we've been wor we've been working all three and a half years on raising that <laughs> money, but we're going to really be out there in in 2018. So you're asking anyone out there who may have uh, some money burning their a hole in their pocket, sure, right, uh, to yes. uh, to put in some money in this. So is there any you know like bricks or anything like that you guys going to do where there's going to be families and what, what's the you oh, know what yes. do you get for the yeah? There there'll be naming opportunities um, for the facility, the pools you know every aspect of um, the facility itself mm -hmm. and then you know the brick naming and anything you can think of we're uh, we're gonna have all right Karen Todd thank you so much good thank luck you. with this uh, yeah. hopefully you'll raise this 22 maybe you'll raise 30 million who knows yes. all right there you go. yeah bring in as much money as possible yes. Thank yes. you. Thank All you right, so guys, much. Thank for you so much. Us. Good luck with this. And if you want to learn more about what's planned for the Adirondack Aquatic Center, we've got a link set up on our website at WNYT.com. We'll be right back with the day's top story. Stay with us.